Oh, sorry I missed you. I was distracted. This is usually the point where I welcome you and tell you I'm Mike and welcome to the Modern C++ series, but I was busy reading this book, Effective Modern C++ by Scott Myers. And while I don't get any royalties or anything for stating this, this is a really good text. And I think any serious C++ developer will want to at least peruse this at some point in their career. But in this lesson, I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit of a cheat code, in a sense, of a way that you can get some of the benefits that are discovered in that book. Now, understanding why these are the right things to do in your C++ programs comes from the textbook. But we can go to our compilers for some help. So with that said, I want to go ahead and show you this compiler flag here, Effective C++. And if you want to go ahead and read a little bit more about it, you can check out the GNU web page and see what this flag does. Now, this doesn't give every single rule or every possible thing that could be wrong in your code, but rather warns about or gives tips for improvements on your code. So let's go ahead and look at our code here and see if a recent example that I did on class template argument deduction, if there's anything that could be improved with this code. So again, I just compile as normal and just add this flag here. I hit enter and wow, voila, it looks like I should do something better with my instantiation here. It's actually stating here that I have a warning here. I should be using member initialization lists here with our actual class. OK, let's go ahead and fix that here. So instead of specifying each of the arguments here, I should just be setting up each of these individual variables here. So m key, that'll actually just be the key. And m value, that'll just be the value. And then I don't have to do this setup here. I can actually just move those uh, values here. And let me get rid of this code directly into our memory and save a copy, essentially. So I'll go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and try to recompile. And look, no errors. Example still works. We can still do all the fun class template argument deduction stuff, but we've essentially just saved ourselves a little bit here. Now, there's going to be many other different rules and so on that you can see here, but it essentially gives you some pointers into writing good C++ code. Now, something that folks often ask me is, how do you write good code? It's enough to just write in C++ sometimes, but we want it to be effective, modern, and clean code, or as much as is possible. So folks, with that said, I hope this was a useful lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll consider uh, maybe taking a peek at this text or just playing around with the compiler a little bit after this lesson. With that said, we'll see you in the next one, folks.